Today I will teach you 10 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. It will be involving just a normal phone, a folding phone, okay? We're gonna use a Fold 6, Fit 5, and this S24. So stay tuned and let's start it. Let's get started. And I will have a timeline. If you do not have folding phones, you can skip to the next features. But I'm gonna show some features on the folding phone as well too, why these phones are a little bit better than just a normal phone. So let's get started. So the first thing is, we're gonna talk about wallpaper something like this okay super nice wallpaper how do i get them it's super super easy this wallpaper is actually from um TikTok, and i'm going to teach you how you're going to do this okay you're going to find your way to find that app but it's so damn cool so first of all we are going to go to TikTok, and we are going to be looking for some type of 4k resolution wallpaper okay so we're going to say wallpaper 4k if you don't have TikTok, i would suggest you guys to do that and you can see this is a wallpaper that was on my lock screen right so let's just say i'm going to do something like this and now you have to press share do not press download or anything because there will be like a watermark and it's not the highest quality as well too you want to copy the link and now the link is copied you want to get back outside and you need to find this app yourself it's called snap take okay you need to find yourself and then once you have this app on your phone now you can see you can download hd quality or whatsoever okay but i will say i will skip this and i will go for this and i have way to like no ads nothing right so now the wallpaper is done so now you go back to your gallery go back to your original wallpaper this is the one that i download and now when you press the three dot set as wallpaper and somehow this one is only have lock screen not the home screen doesn't matter okay so i just go like this and now they will ask you something like this you sometimes you have to trim because it's just you know too long so it doesn't matter for me so i just go like this i don't need that and then that's it 10 seconds and then after you finish streaming press done and now this is your wallpaper on the lock screen so the second feature is a lot of people will have different way of taking pictures right portrait mode pro mode expert raw things like that right did you know that if you hold this button right there there's actually three options right there and then you can actually just drag it out and then that's it now you press this it was taking selfie what if i actually want more than this did you know that you can go straight to a widget okay let's just say do it again widget and now you can see there's like this thing called custom camera you put it out and now you can tell samsung phone what, how do you want to set this up you can set that okay starting from the rear camera so only the rear camera and then you can select whatever you want in here let's just say i want a night mode just night mode on the rear camera and then when you press back and then when you press save now every single time when you press this it will be on the night mode rear camera you can see that pretty cool huh so you let's just say if you have two of them that you use most of the time you can hold this press widget and then now custom camera go up there again and then let's just say i love portrait mode I, for me i love portrait video or portrait mode right so i can select portrait video and then go back and then press save and then that's it this is going to be my portrait video let's hop on to folding phones okay this is going to be the fold six i'm going to show you one of the really really neat features that i use quite often when i when i was on the trip so this is the camera itself and then right here at the top there's like this called selfie mode why do we need a selfie mode because you have to know that on right here this front camera it sucks okay the quality sucks it's not meant to be doing selfie it's only meant for doing video calling so you want to try to use a rear camera to do selfie all you have to do is you have to do the horizontal like landscape mode press this and then now you open this camera and then now you are actually using the rear camera to do 
selfie if you're a person who love taking selfie you want to have these features as well because you're using the rear camera to take selfie at the same time on your flipping phone same thing every time when you turn this on you actually using the rear camera to take selfie not the front camera right here you actually using the rear camera so this selfie here is actually 10 times better than any other phone like when you do selfie like this because this is a rear camera in addition the next feature is is right here if you have a flipping phone you will realize there's a button right at the top right there when you press this you can see there's a screen on already and when you bend your phone like this and you're using a palm you can start taking pictures just like that so simple and easy and you, you have a timer they would take multiple pictures just like that on the flip phone on the outside you can see there is so many apps and when i was on the trip on the plane i actually used this to watch uh, movies um, the game that I download from YouTube and then I can start watching stuff on here it's actually not that small how do I do this how do I put uh, apps at the front screen so I don't have to open this up often so in order to do that you need to go to good luck okay we're gonna go to good luck right now and then you will see there's like this thing called multi star right there you want to go straight to multi-star and then uh, galaxy i love galaxy football and then launch launcher widget and then now you can select whatever the app and put it inside here and now you can actually watch whatever you want you can see i have so many like you know movies youtube and things like that i put everything inside here so anything that i put inside there now it will end up right there you can see that so a lot of people really do not remember that we have this thing called wireless chargers so wireless charging right here is called power share charging when you turn this on just use as a flipping phone did you know that you can actually charge like this and what is the benefit when you go on a travel you can just bring one wire and then charge one device and then it will charge two at the same time. So you don't need to bring wire for this. You just need to bring wire for one phone. So you charge the phone and then the phone will charge the watch at the same time. So you don't need to bring so many wires or the watch, you know, there's always, there's like this extra package for the watch. You don't need to do this anymore. Just bring one wire, charge it, and then it will charge two devices at the same time the other very neat features on the samsung galaxy phone when you actually on the recent button here there's so many different things right if you want to keep this on just say keep it open okay because it's so important you don't want to close it so now we keep it open you can see that right i keep it open now let's just say i accidentally close everything now i go back in the TikTok is still there pretty cool hey so if you have anything that is super important at that moment make sure just say keep it open then it will just keep it open no matter how many times you close everything your tiktok will still be there the next feature is a lot of people do not even mention about this is on your my file okay you can actually log into your my OneDrive and Google Drive. And you can actually use this, utilize this to move your image through your my file and then just like drag and drop and that's it you don't have to download one drive or you don't have to download Google Drive because it's actually built in into my file. Okay? So if you just log in anything you want and now they will ask you are you okay to join the Google Drive? Yes, I say yes, I do and now you just analyze a little bit tell you how much storage you have inside so you say 16 gig and now you can just go to your internal storage and then you just basically do whatever you want to move inside the google drive right so let's just say i want something like this you just press move select google drive that you already created inside the my my file and then now you move to here now everything is actually dumped into google drive 
super simple and easy. You don't need a third party. You don't need to go download Google Drive to put everything in. So this is can be a trick or this is super important. You need to look into it, okay? So this is my file as well. If you go all the way down here, this, this thing called manage storage. A lot of people never go into this or never even pay attention going to this. And you can see unused apps and large files. This two app is super important. The last 30 days okay, is occupied 4.23 gigabyte. You need to take a look at this and see which one you don't use and just delete them because it's occupying, you see that? 2.3K. Right here on the large file, you go into this and you need to see which of the file that is occupying inside your phone as well too. If you think that these are the one that you shouldn't be in there, delete them right away and now it will save you a lot of storage. 34 gig, 72 large file. Very, very important to clear them. So if you want to create this button right there, this button here is just showing you that you can do home screen, uh, home page, back, recent, whatsoever. It's just a shortcut, just like an iPhone. So how do I do this? It's actually pretty easy. You go to the setting, and now we are just gonna go to assistance. And then if you go down, there should be this thing called assistant menu. You go inside here, make sure you go inside the assistant menu, go inside, make sure it's on. And now when it's on, now you can actually place whatever you want. So you go to the menu and you can place whatever here to into here. This will be your menu. This is an extra stuff you can put inside. And now in here at the bottom, you want to see if you, how transparent do you want. And you see this logo here, you can actually hide it by just go to edge icon. So it will be right there. I, I don't know if you can see it, it will be right there. Or if you want to show like this, you can do as well, like this or two, uh, as well. And now you go to small, medium, and large. So cool features you need to know is, maybe you should download this app. Make sure you download this app right here. And then this way you can watch unlimited sports, whatever you want, all right? So these are my 10 features for you on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Very brief features, but you need to use them. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace out.